Stem cells are truly amazing cells because they can self-renew and differentiate into tissue-specific cell types that allow for the growth and development of the organs throughout our body. In skeletal muscle, the tissue type that I study, there's a very powerful stem cell. It's called the satellite cell, and it's responsible for upkeeping all skeletal muscle. In the 1990s, scientists came up with the idea of taking satellite cells from a healthy person and transplanting them into a sick person with the Shen muscular dystrophy, a devastating muscle disease that affects one in 5,000 boys. Satellite cells are rare, and by the, by the time the scientists had expanded the satellite cells and transplanted them, they had lost their stem cell potential. These cells could still go on to differentiate and make new skeletal muscle fibers, but they were unable to replace the diseased stem cell pool. So once the new myofibers got injured, the diseased stem cells took back over and within a few years, all the healthy cells were gone. So this is where my work in Dr. April Pyle's lab comes in. We're trying to understand how a muscle cell can behave like a satellite cell after it's, transplant, after it's transplanted. Around every single skeletal muscle fiber is a specialized compartment. It's called the satellite cell niche. And this compartment has all of the components that are needed for a satellite cell to be able to self-renew. So the question that our lab is asking is how do you home a muscle cell to the satellite cell niche? And to do this, we're using human pluripotent stem cells. These cells can expand indefinitely without losing pluripotency and then go on to differentiate to any cell type. My work has shown that they can beautifully make skeletal muscle cells in a dish. Human pluripotent stem cells also have the advantage that you can insert fluorescent reporters and you can overexpress different vectors. So once they're differentiated to muscle, you can track them once they're transplanted or you can overexpress niche proteins that allow them to home to the niche more efficiently. So I think that we now have the tools to understand how muscle cells can self-renew once they're transplanted. And I hope that this will allow us to develop a long-term therapy for cell replacement in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Thank you. Mm -hmm.